team, it's Kelly. I'm happy to be able to reach out to you like this by video, and I've received a lot of really positive messages from the first one we sent out. However, I wish it was under different circumstances. By now, you've likely seen the email I sent out about a few of our team members testing positive for COVID-19. They're doing well, and they're continuing to recover. I wanted to follow up with a video, which is more of a human touch. As you know, we're all about humans. Please know that we're working every day, including nights and weekends, trying to equip you with the tools and strategies needed to protect you. And we know there are going to be more challenging days ahead. And at times, I'm going to have to deliver difficult messages. I'm incredibly grateful to our IT team for working quickly to enable many of you to work from home. Nearly half of our team, though, is continuing to serve on the front lines, and you all exemplify our mission. The work we do is challenging and often not for the faint of heart. Now more than ever, our work requires compassion, humility, and courage. And I can tell you with zero hesitation, I'm seeing it every day. I see it in our team members volunteering to step up and help with testing and contact tracing. I see it in the pictures of home offices you've shared with your team and on video calls, with, which often include furry coworkers or parents with kiddos at home still managing to do all of their work. We need humor in these times. And I see it in the countless ways and acts of kindness you send to me. So I'm not really here to provide any specific update. I'm just here to offer words of encouragement and to tell you that your work does not go unnoticed. I'm also here to pose a challenge to you. I want each and every one of us to, to make a commitment to do at least one thing this week, something unexpected and kind for someone else on our team. It doesn't matter how small and it shouldn't cost you anything, just something simple to let someone on your team know they're supported. In fact, I received a positive message today from a team member named Jessica. She told me how she's been supporting her own community in Marshalltown, where she knew there was a need for masks. So she stepped up and she began making masks. This even involved procuring elastic bands from California. She's created videos in English and Spanish to teach others how to make masks. And she didn't stop there. She even made hand sanitizer and brought it to her coworkers in Story County. COVID has impacted our lives in every single way. But at the Department of Human Services, we respond with COVID kindness, with grit and with spirit, just like Jessica. So I'm counting on you to do what you do best, make someone's load feel lighter, make them feel supported, and make this next week brighter, even when all the news we watch seems so dark, because we can do this. I'm counting on you, and I want you to know that you can count on me too. I'm here for you. If there's ever anything we can do better to support you, just tell me. Supporting you is the most important part of my job. And doing that is what gets me through these admittedly challenging times. And as this week is Public Service Recognition Week, we're trying to do everything we can to shine a light on your good work and to help lift you up during this time. We put signs up at our facilities, we're launching a social media campaign and encouraging our fellow Iowans to send you positive messages of support. And I will be sending out more videos this week to highlight some of our team members. Here's to you, this is your week. So thank you, be well, and until next time, please take care of yourselves and ask for help when you need it.